Aloha everybody and welcome back. Sorry for not posting anything on YouTube for a little while. We'll be trying to post stuff once or twice every week now. This video is going to be about us fishing on top of a fishing ladder. We had lots of fun doing it and I hope you enjoyed the video. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos we'll be posting. Mahalo! It's Elijah here. Today we're at our spot. We're going to try something new. It's like the mother fisherman's platform. A little smaller than our platform. But we're going to try and use this instead because it's a little bit more convenient, easier to carry. We can bring more stuff and we'll see you out there. Mahalo. Do you want to do both? Or do you want me to do surf forward? Okay. Here we are heading out for fishing ladders. We're just using four foot ladders. You could actually probably do this with a six foot ladder if you wanted. We are sitting up the ladder for the first time. We haven't done this out in the water yet. So we're just trying to look for a leveled area to put the ladder at. There you go. These are a lot easier to set up than the fishing platform. Do you, do? You, you can actually do this by yourself if you want to. The ladders we made had a chair on top with a footrest that has four pearl holders. The secret to make it so it doesn't flip over is to put cinder blocks on each of the legs so it doesn't flip over. Remember, you have to use cinder blocks or something heavy on the legs so they don't fall over because they're easy to knock over. But if it has a cinder block, it's super hard to flip. I'm getting ready to throw the lines out. I'm gonna walk a little ways before I throw the fishing line. With the line so far out, the two hooks we actually be laying on top of the ground and not standing up.
For our fishing rods, we're using our two hook dunking setup with just Ika. Here I hooked up to something good, but I lost it because of bad knot. Make sure to always double check your knots, especially if your brother is tying oh, them. No. Whoever tied that one. Here I am hooked up to something, and when I and when I reel it up, I see it's an eel. You tend to roll in little balls to try to get the hook out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. These size eels make great bait for papillo and alua. But you gotta be careful when taking them off the hooks because they will bite you if they can. <laughs> this one my dad have to get off the hook. Just stay right there, James. Just stay with it. Here I am hooked up. Take your time. So I just got the bite right off of the fishing ladder and then I got off the ladder and started chasing the line because I didn't want to break off of the reef. So I'll just keep on chasing the line and reeling. Lost it. And then it started coming towards me and I really thought that I lost it for a little bit. And then I saw the line moving outside, not like straight towards me, but Going like in a circle motion almost. Tip up, tip up, and then that's when I knew I still had it on. So then I kept on reeling. And then once I saw it, I knew it was an eel. So I kept on reeling. I love catching them on the small spinner rods. They're such great fights. Pretty stoked on catching this old eel. Not even like five minutes on that new ladder invention that our dad made. And look what we caught already. For like a two, three pound old eel. Whew. The keeper though, so we eat that tonight. I make fish cake out of it. So you actually weighed over three pounds when we weighed it at home.
to drag loose, yeah? Here I am throwing out the lines again. And about 15 minutes later, I hook up again. This is a smaller OEO than the first one. I just fought from the ladder. Take them. Take it? Yeah, which? Pull them out. Kind of big. Yeah, kind of big. I don't know how many times it's not going to Bottom, see that hook? Yeah. I feel bad for Elijah. They caught, I don't know how they caught. Oh. Elijah! I think we had the wrong spot! It's only been five minutes ago, it's caught this old eel. And we already caught one before that. So this one looks like a little smaller. So we can release it right now. So we can let him grow. So we can catch him later. What we learned on this fishing trip is all the fish are on the reef and none are in the channel. Remember to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more clips and tips. I didn't make the show. Mahalo!